if they so, took it off. So give me my workout montage like Ben Affleck's Batman dog. I yeah. want to see <laughs> Thor hitting the weights. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Boom. We're here with another segment of News Blitz. Um, yep. I mean, we haven't done a News Blitz in what, two weeks? Yeah, so, no, last week. Did we do we one did, last yeah, week? We did that Man, week. I lost track of it. We just. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It, regardless, this has been a huge week. Yeah, especially uh, with SDCC being around. Yeah, SDCC well, coming starts on tomorrow? Friday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, right? Tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's going to be tons of stuff dropping, so let's go ahead yes. and jump right in. Uh, Carlos is in here. Yeah. On vacation. He's on vacay, man. Hey, bro. Hope you are enjoying your vacation. We miss you. Yes. I even, like, when we started the video, I kind of, like, I went to the middle because I'm so used to going in the middle. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's not even here, dude. He's not here. Damn it. Yes. All right. Well, let's jump right in. Yep. First topic for our new blitz is uh, Power Rangers. Saban has confirmed that it is getting a reboot. Yes. And it's from Hasbro. Yes. Yeah. You know, the same people who, you know, worked on Transformers and uh, any other movie that... Uh, I think they, they did a G.I. Joe. The G.I. Joe, and, yeah. yeah. The same people who worked on those movies are going to be working on this movie. Um, you know, Decker Montgomery did an interview, you know, along with Stranger Things, I guess. Uh, yeah, he kind of revealed that, yeah, it's it's they they're, they're working on it and they're not coming back. Basically. Yeah, they're not coming back. And it's sad because, uh, well, the first one, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't great, but I, you know I enjoyed it. It was, it was, you know, it brought back a lot of uh, nostalgic feels for everybody. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all it was. It was like nostalgia. I, I mean, they should have just gave him a second shot. At, you know, especially with new, with new people coming in. Yeah, you had like you know, freaking whatever. Brian Cranston as like Zordon. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't think you can do better than that for casting Zordon. I don't yeah. know, but uh, yeah, I think it's just to me. I think like you can't make it worse. No, you can't. I think you can only go up from here, right? Yeah. If you make it worse, then you were fucking terrible. Like, <laughs> I, mean, just, I mean, the Transformers movies. Yeah, so... You know, it started out good, and then it went bad, but... Yeah, but then know. you got Bumblebee, and yeah, Bumblebee was Bumblebee. really good. Like, yeah, they kind of went back to that 80s style, so I think yeah. they, it's, they could fix it if they, they do can. it right. There's so much content out there that they could base yeah. it off of. I mean, there's like 20 fucking and different se like series of Power Rangers. Yeah, and there. there's rumors that the, that the cast will be a lot younger. So. Yeah, and it's still Mighty Morphin, right? Yeah, it's still going to be Mighty Morphin. Hopefully. Yeah. but you know that's where that's what we're hoping that it starts all right well i guess we're gonna get a lot more power rangers in the future keep an eye out for that guys news blitz uh another thing on the on the topic for today is a snyder cut so there's a lot of like controversy I... out there a lot of hype petitions uh they even have a presence right now i think they're apparently they're gonna have a presence at uh sdcc which is i mean they're just trying to i think they're the biggest hope that they had right now is that it was going to be released on hbo max yeah. which is owned by warner media i think or warner brothers um that's not the case they already came out and said that they're not going to release the snyder cut these people really uh, hate it man i don't so understand why i just i mean i don't know what the what the what the negative aspect of it releasing it would i mean be. what do you got to lose yeah right a lot of people want to watch it if you if you release it into the hbo uh media you got a lot of people are going to subscribe to that quick quick, quick. why Especially, not release it on dc universe like, yeah i don't understand i don't like, understand either just release it like it's just gonna make you money warner brothers like you got all these people if you have people rallying together and like getting like a whole like i think they're having gonna have like a whole exhibit at sdcc yeah that's that's crazy man like it should tell you something like not this. only that if you feel like i mean i feel like if they feel like they're gonna be losing money on this i don't think they should be worried because to me it's a whole different movie yeah right i mean they shouldn't even have to like promote it or anything no. just release the damn thing yeah i mean like i said it's gonna be a whole different movie and the reason why is because a lot of stuff that Zack snyder put into this film was cut so yeah. you know you re releasing this movie i mean it might it's gonna bring a lot of well maybe People who don't even care are gonna go watch it did he say it's finished I'm pretty sure they said it was finished, man. It's just you know, I'm I'm guessing the CGI here. Yeah, and there like, I feel stuff. like they're. I think that's why Warner Brothers doesn't want to do it. Yeah, maybe yeah. they still have to invest money to finish some of the CGI and shit. And like, after that, you're gonna still have to pay royalties to the actors and yeah. stuff like that. So maybe I I can see why it could be a hassle. But if anything, dude, somebody in Warner Brothers, if you're watching this video, because we know you guys subscribe as much shit as I talk about you guys, <laughs> just leak that shit, dude. Yeah, just leak it. it. I'll get on Torrance right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I 
don't know if you guys remember back when they like leaked the X Men Origins Wolverine before oh, it was like yes. before any of the CGI was even done. Like you yeah. see green screen stuff. Like do that for the Snyder Cut, dog. I don't care. Do it. <laughs> Just do, do it. it. All right. News blitz. Next thing. Harry Styles as Prince Eric for the upcoming live action Little Mermaid. And right now it's rumored that Javier Bardem is first in line yeah. as uh, King Triton. Uh, Harry Styles, I feel like it's. I think it's a rumor still. I don't think he's written a. Uh, uh, he's like he's 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 in talks, talks to like he's like finishing finalizing contracts I think, yeah. and stuff like that, right? So uh, which basically was, means that's who they want. Like if, yeah. once they're talking contract, like that's who they want. Yeah. But um, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna take it. The dude will take anything. He's been really big. He was in Dur- Dunkirk, which was yeah. like Christopher Nolan movie. So. So he he's, he's into acting a lot. I mean, yeah. if you ask me, he kind of resembles the character in the animation. Character. Yeah, is he gonna change his hair? Like, you think he's gonna dye his hair black? Well, I mean, or... all these all these um, live action anim- you know adaptations really change a little bit of, of the character. Yeah, regardless. how they so, look. Like, we don't even know if Ariel's gonna dye her hair red. Red. Or, yeah. yeah. So, I like, mean, hopefully, I mean, we'll it's see. Part of, it's part of her her aesthetics for for Ariel. I think he's a hair. he's a good choice, man. Yeah, he's, he's got a, good he's choice. Got a little personality. He's good looking. Obviously, you gotta get somebody that's good looking for this Prince Eric. Yeah, dude. Uh, as for Javier Bardem as King Triton, I don't know how I could see that dude. Like he's kind of one. He's got he's got like that like that accent, which kind of makes him menacing, right? He's got like that. Like, which could, which could be good. I guess so. Like if which you're trying to, good. I mean, because King Triton is kind of like menacing yeah. in the first half of the movie, and then he kind of becomes a fatherly figure, and he's yeah. like, all right, you know. I guess. But I mean, I guess it could work. I'm just I know Javier Bardem from like Pirates of the Caribbean and yeah. uh, was that No Country for Old Men, yes. like. Yes. That's scary month. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just weird for like Disney to get somebody like that and like so so intimidating for King Dragon. But we'll see, man. Uh, I'm all aboard. I'm like yeah. I'm, just, I'm I'm interested to see where what direction they're gonna take with this movie. News blitz. Uh, next topic. It chapter two trailer is dropping today. Technically, it's tomorrow because we're recording. It's what we're in the past right we're now. We're Wednesday. <laughs> we're in Wednesday recording right now. But by the time we release it, it'll yeah. be out. So so this is gonna be the. The official trailer. Yeah, first official, first trailer. official trailer. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a lot of plot points and a lot of like, uh, maybe some like jump scenes, like yeah. jump scare scenes and stuff in the movie. But uh, definitely see a lot more background as to what the story is. This is this is probably one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah, I think so. Uh, definitely. Everybody has a lot of hype for it. Stephen uh, Stephen King, right? Yeah, yeah Stephen, Stephen King, King said it's like the best, the best movie, the best interpretation that he's seen of of his books. Period. Yeah. Is the, like this it this it series so, yeah, so I'm really excited. I think it's slated to release September 6th, which is like a month and a half away. I guess maybe roughly, probably even I don't know. yeah. But we'll put it, it right here. Yeah, September 6th. I think is the release date. But uh, yeah, definitely look out for that trailer today. Um, and you know, watch it in the dark. Yeah. Turn off all the lights, lock your doors, get the popcorn ready. <laughs> Make sure there's no like naked old ladies walking around and shit. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that, guys. Yes. Uh, News next blitz. thing, Mind Hunter. Finally, Netflix series. If you guys haven't seen Mind Hunter, go check it out. It's basically uh, how the FBI established the like homicide serial killer division uh, of that department, and I think it's it's I think it's been years. I think it's been like three, maybe three, four years since the first season came out. Netflix had been like such in the dark; they haven't released anything. But now we finally got confirmation that season two is starting August sixteenth, which. To me, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I love that show to death. So I, when I saw this on Twitter, I like lost my shit. I was like, finally, <laughs> dog. Finally. I haven't seen it, but I promise you I'm going to start tonight. Yeah, so definitely check it out if you haven't watched it. It's a bomb-ass show, man. It's really cool. It's just really trippy as to, you know, the history of these serial killers. Like, like uh, I think B2K and all these guys that they have in there. Uh, I think Jeffrey Dahmer. And, like, they're going to oh, talk shit. about all those guys. So, like... It's a really cool show, man. So Sounds definitely cool. check it out. Season 2 dropping August 16th. We'll check it out. Thank you, Netflix. News Blitz. Next topic. We got Don Cheadle and Space Jam 2. <laughs> I mean, Space Jam just lost his director. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't even know who the director was. Yeah, I think there was but like they brought some in somebody new. discrepancies with like Je- LeBron James, I think. Yeah. Is what they're, which, that dude always got problems with people, bro. He gets coaches fired all the fucking time. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. But yeah, I mean... They started filming rather than training in the off season. LeBron James is filming a movie, which I guess makes sense. He doesn't really need to train. Yeah, <laughs> we <laughs> but, don't know what Don Cheadle's playing. Yeah, they don't know. Like I was, I originally thought he was going to be playing himself, which I thought would be funny. It as would hell. be funny. Hell yeah, like, it'd be just funny. playing Don Cheadle, right? Yeah, that's a he, he's a character himself, man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess he's going to be playing like a like a fictional character. I mean, there were so many rumors out there that apparently, like, even Bill Murray was going to come back. Yeah. And Michael Jordan was going to have a, another cameo. 
I doubt it. it. Yeah, I doubt so it. we'll see, man. If if you get Bill Murray, that's dope already. I'm I'm yeah. signing that's like, up, dog. That's like J.K. Simmons in the Spider Man. Yeah, movie, like bro. that was that was that's some crazy like <laughs> flashback like cameos and stuff, yeah. man. Like callbacks to the old movie. But yeah, I mean we'll see. I'm pretty sure I expect a lot more casting. We still haven't got a casting like confirmation for uh, Bugs, Bugs Bunny, Bunny or Lola. Lola Bunny or like none of the Looney Tunes yet, but. We can. It's safe to, to assume. I guess they're all gonna be in there. So yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens with that. News blitz. Uh, next topic: Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Uh, gonna have a big sort of uh, presentation at SDCC. Kevin Smith confirmed on his yeah. Twitter. Um, right and, after Marvels. Yeah. Uh, right Hall after H Hall Panel. H, which he's not very happy. He's like, "Fuck, yeah. I gotta follow up after that." Yeah. After he, Marvel announces their Phase Four <laughs> slate. <laughs> you know what? Kevin Smith's blown up like crazy. Yeah, he's like he's really crazy. Gone. And I mean, I've been a fan of him, you know, since the, uh, Tusk, which is a which is a hor it's a horror film, right? It's yeah, I mean, I've been a fan of him since freaking Clerks. Uh, Clerks, talk. yeah. So Clerks is classic. Yoga hosers and all. Yo, that yeah, shit. my first movie was uh, was Tusk though. Uh, or I'm lying, Jane Silent Bob. And yeah, then Jane it went Silent from Bob. Tusk, and yeah. then you know I started going back in Clerks and stuff like that, but. This movie, this guy's really blown up, and I and I'm happy for him. I mean, the dudes work really hard. He, mo he most of the time he funds his own movies. Yeah. And now Jane Silent Bob the reboot is coming back, and it's gonna be uh, for, as far as we know, it's gonna be epic. He has three uh, Batman's coming out. You know, people actors that that played that Batman. That played Batman. Yeah. We don't know who they are. Hopefully, it's Ben Affleck. Since he was in the first one, Michael and Keaton. Then Michael, yeah, Joe, that'd be cool. George Clooney. I feel like George Clooney <laughs> could be in there. Also, uh, he's supposed to have, you know, a Stanley uh, memorabilia. Like tribute, tribute, yeah, Stanley yeah. tribute. It's going to be, it basically, man, it's going to be like a fan service movie up the ass. Uh, yeah. So many callbacks to his previous movies, so many callbacks to the world that he kind of grew up in, which is all comic books. So, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be cool, man. He, he's saying, like, the trailer is going to drop at Comic-Con, but at the same time, it'll be released online so that we all get a taste and see what, yeah. what, what to expect which is really the movie. Nice. So I'm really excited, man. I love Kevin Smith. If, yeah. he, if you guys don't follow him on social media, man, you definitely should. check him out. He's funny as hell. Definitely watch his reviews and his reactions. He's a huge Spider-Man fan. Like yeah. I think some of the, his Spider-Man and Avengers reaction videos are some of the funniest things I've ever He's seen. He's just a man. geek, man. He's just He's a, a geek. big geek. So definitely go check him out and keep an eye out for that trailer to drop on Saturday because yeah. we will definitely be checking it out. A little we bit might to, even do like a like a review of it. Yeah, a little bit to follow up. He did post a, a picture of Blunt Man and Chronic. Yeah, some concept art because and... I think like this plot, this plot in the reboot is basically because the first movie was. They were making a movie about, you know, Jay and Silent Bob's characters that they created, I guess. And the comic book. The comic book. And then they were going to adapt that into live so action. So they went to go stop the movie from being made. <laughs> so apparently this is the same thing. It's the same set of plot. This time they're gender bending it, right? Blunt Man's still a guy, but uh, they made Chronic, Chronic into a girl. woman. So now they're trying to go and stop this movie from being made. <laughs> and apparently he teased. They got some serious, like, talent for Blunt Man and Chronic, so... We have some theories as to who could be, but we're gonna wait for Saturday. Uh, I think, I think he did say it's gonna be revealed who they are in the trailer, which is crazy. Hopefully. So we'll see, Hopefully. man. So, you don't want to blunt out your theory real quick? I think Blunt Man's Keanu Reeves, and I think Chronic is Melissa Benoit from Supergirl. Ah, man, sounds that's, crazy. That's who I think. I'm sounds just crazy. just off of the concept part of how it looked. Yeah. I mean, Keanu Reeves is such a big name right now. I would fucking crack up. If Plus, it's... like we said, he's been taking roles that are pretty out of yeah. his norm. You know, with Toy Story and then. Uh, yeah, he's even in video games now, dude. With uh, what's what's that movie in Netflix called? Um, always be my maybe. Yeah, always be yeah. my maybe. Yeah, that that one. So he's so he's funny. all over the yeah. place, man. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's Keanu Reeves. So yeah. definitely keep an eye out for the trailer this Saturday. Yes. We'll be doing a review on it as soon as we get a chance. But uh, yeah, so let's go News to the final topic. Yes. The biggest, I think, announcement this week is that Thor 4 has been confirmed. So they haven't even released the slate yet, which is crazy. They just confirmed Thor 4, even though uh, San Diego Comic-Con is this Saturday where they're going to reveal their whole Phase 4 slate. Rather than wait to make that reveal, they just bluntly stated it. Yeah, we're doing Thor 4. Taika Waititi's coming back to direct. He's no longer going to be directing uh, Akira. He's going to put that on the back burner. He's still going to direct it, but he's going to direct it now after... Uh, he's finished with Thor 4, which to me is telling me that Thor 4 is going to probably start filming next year. Yeah, should uh, expect uh, he there's three there's three there's three yeah. related movies within you know 2021 and 2022. I think it's like mid year 2021 and then at the end of the year 2021. Yeah, so. and then May 2022. So maybe at the end of the, maybe at the end of uh, 2021. November 2021. Yeah, who knows? I mean, cause it's it's so weird. This is really strange for the Marvel to do this because usually they have you waiting before they yeah. make announcements like this, but no. 
So the fact that they announced it's definitely going to start filming either next year or late next year. Yeah. But you have to think about this on, on the way it fits on the time frame because James Gunn's currently filming Suicide Squad and then right after Suicide Squad, he's filming Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. Volume 3, which Thor, at the end of Endgame, as you know, was with the Guardians. Well, well we suppose that he stayed with the yeah. Guardians. We don't know what happens after. We don't even know where Thor 4 is going to take place, though. So that's, that's, I think that's the interesting thing. What, yeah. Are these movies going to be connected or not? Is it going to reference what happened? Is it going like, to be like... It's gonna be a time jump, so we don't know it anything. It could be multiverse, for yeah. all we know. I mean, it could be a different, a different story for Thor. Yeah, well, well uh, multiverse. I'm not believing until I see that shit in Doctor Strange too, <laughs> which they better announce in Phase Four. Yeah. I'll be pissed if I don't get no Doctor Strange too. But uh, I mean, bro, Thor, <laughs> come on, yeah. man. We'll see, and maybe you know he'll get ripped again, dog. Well, you know he was supposed to get ripped again in the Endgame. Yeah, and he wanted and they, to stay like that, and then they so, took it off. So give me my workout montage like Ben Affleck's Batman, dog. I yeah. want to see <laughs> Thor hitting the weights. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but Just it like is out of the norm. tires and shit. Yeah, it is out of the norm for for um for Marvel just, for Marvel to, like, to, just to go out like there. And so we'll see, man. Like I think yeah. we're gonna. It's it's Marvel's first Hall H back since because they weren't here last year, last so year, it's been yeah. a year. I feel like they're gonna mix things up. They're gonna do stuff a little unconventional than what we expect. I do think they're going to show a lot of footage, which they really don't usually show footage. Sometimes they show like some little teasers and unedited stuff, but I think they're going to show some footage just to get people hyped, specifically for Black Widow. They're going to do a full, I, I expect them to do a full casting announcement for the Eternals on Saturday. They're going to um, do a lot of Disney Plus stuff too. They're going to announce who they have for Shang-Chi because right yeah. now, I, they just released uh, yesterday that they're down to three Chinese, I think three Chinese actors of Chinese descent. So they're gonna have this guy chosen by by Comic Con. I know it for a fact. So we'll get our Shang Chi on Saturday as well, and then we'll probably get a lot of other stuff. They're gonna announce the next Spider Man movie. I'm pretty sure. Whether they have a title for it or not, I'm we not sure. Know. But and it's gonna be up there. Yeah, Spider Man, go the fuck home or something like that. I'm <laughs> Homeless. Fuck, finally fucking ours. <laughs> so we'll see. But we're gonna get a lot of stuff from Marvel yeah. this weekend. So be on the lookout, guys. Anyways, that's our news blitz. Like we told you guys, there was a lot of news this week, so I'm glad we could share that with you because there's so much we're excited yes. to talk about it. We're so excited to what we're going to get this weekend, so expect a very long-ass News Blitz video for next week when yeah. we cover all our SDCC stuff. Man. So, anyways, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Later.